good morning ganesh ji and good morning everybody good morning, um when we are talking about prosperity we say that we need more than required physical facility to feel prosperous so uh, one is that we are identifying the need but then we are saying we need we need to have more than required so why is, that seems to be a something a conflict there <coughs> i i think we briefly discuss about this but i mean i can recall that uh, in the light of what we have discussed in uh, lecture 7 se- uh, lecture 11 where we are talking about harmony of the self with the body there are four aspects you know which we have to understand <clears throat> number one is that once we can see the self the body the coexistence between the two and we can see that self is central to human existence we can see that the need of the self is for continuous happiness and need of the body is what relates to the physical facility so with this clarity <clears throat> now we can identify the need of physical facility it so what is the amount of you know physical facility required for the whole family you know yeah. so <clears throat> this has to do with as we said nurturing the body protecting the body and ensuring the right utilization of the body for that we need physical facility and it is required in a limited quantity not that we have to reduce this need or minimize this need what we are saying is identify this need and this can be done with right understanding so this is one important thing that we have to be clear about if we are talking about prosperity second thing is that <coughs> we can produce more than what is required you know with the capacity for human being to produce and the resources which are available in nature we are already producing you know six times what is required okay. so we can produce and there is a possibility of availability of more than what is required <clears throat> and this production will come with right skills you know, and of course the mentality to produce you know by way of labor so this is the second point so first is you know identification of the required physical facility with right understanding second thing is producing more than what is required with the abundance of resource which is available in nature and our capacity to produce you know and this is ensured through right kind of mentality and right skills <coughs> now once we have more than what is required we have this feeling of prosperity with this feeling of prosperity we will consume only as much as is required so we will not over consume we will not indulge right we will consume as much as is required so i was taking that example that if <clears throat> it is required to take two chapatis for the health of the body i am not going to eat five chapatis because it is available so i will eat two chapatis and now i have you know five chapatis what do i do so i share it with others you know as simple as that i share it with others in relationship and i also share it for ensuring the right kind of social systems So for the society as a whole, for the societal system. So now that I have a feeling of prosperity and I have more than what is required, I will fulfill the need of physical facility for the whole family. <coughs> But the rest I will share with others in relationship okay? with other human being, and I will also invest it for ensuring the right kind of systems in the society. right kind of societal systems 
So this is what I will do with the, you know, more than what is required. Okay. <clears throat> with this, I can see that <clears throat> I will be able to ensure this fulfillment in relationship, or at least support this fulfillment in relationship, which is based on right understanding and right feeling through this facility, which is more than enough. So once we have this identification of required physical facility and we are able to produce more than that, we have this feeling of prosperity. With that, we are consuming as much as is required for nurturing, perfection and right utilization of the body and not more. This is with a feeling of self-regulation. Right. And once we have this more than what is required, we share with the rest of, we share the rest for mutual fulfillment in relationship and for order in the society, for system in the society, with a sense of responsibility in relationship. So these are four things. Number one is with right understanding, I identify the need. Second, with right skill, I produce more than what is required. With feeling of self-regulation, I consume only as much as is required. And with this feeling of relationship, feeling of responsibility in relationship, I share the rest you know, with others in relationship and for the societal system. So if I put this together, the conclusion is that this more is for sharing in relationship right? and for system, not for indulgence or overconsumption. Mm. And many of these traditions have you know, identified this. They have identified this <coughs> and they have been doing it. Right? For example, if you look at you know, different parts of the, uh, you know, uh, of the country, you know, India, you have this system in one way or the other. So we have this Langar system in Punjab, you know, where 10% <coughs> of what you produce, right, you contribute to Gurudwara, and this is a societal system. This Gurudwara is supposed to take care of all those who need, you know. They give a kind of assurance to everyone. You know, whoever comes will be fed and will be provided a shelter. So the farmers, when they produce, you know, the first tractor or whatever mode of transport they have, will go to Gurudwara. 10% you know, of their produce is given to Gurudwara. And this Gurudwara is a societal system which is supporting, you know, the whole society, whoever wants, whoever comes to the village or to the town, right, he is provided with this assurance that you will get food to it, you will get shelter to, you know, be there, and of course you will get good kind of, you know, um, kind of uh, inputs, okay? right kind of thoughts and feelings. <coughs> So this is important. This is important. You know. Yes. Yes. So any part of India you go, you will see this. You know. <coughs> Rajasthan, for example, you know, they have this. And now it is more like a ritual, <coughs> but yes, it is there. You know, ten percent of your, you know, income, and in fact, it is expected that one fourth of your income you contribute for the well-being of the society. Mm well-being of the society, which is what is called a dharma. So for dharma, you should invest you know, 25%. And as a result, you can see all around in India, you know, so many of these, you know, temples and dharamsalas and all, you know, are built and maintained by, you know, a large number of them are maintained by these people from Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. So that more than what is required is for this you know, fulfillment of relationship and for this societal system. So in India, the whole, uh, in the whole country, and I think it is the same in all these Asiatic countries, that whoever comes, you know, that Atithi, whose dates are even not known, you feed them. Mm -hmm. You feed them. That's a basic responsibility you know, considered to be. And we have a lot of examples of this, our own experiences. 
I remember Bhavanji was, you know, keep saying that one of his friends, you know, he went all through, starting from Ganga Sagar to Gangotri and back, you know, to Ganga Sagar from on the both the banks of Ganga. You know, long distance must be thousand five hundred or even more, and uh, he did not keep any money with him, and wherever he went, he was you know provided with necessities. Hmm. And he's saying that one of the difference that he could see between the village and the city today is that if you are in a village, people will you know kind of think that you eat and then you go. But in the city, they think you know that you go and then they will eat. <laughs> in Hindi, it is said, "Khaye to jaye, jaye to khaye." So this is how we have, we have become deprived people in city. We have so much of physical resource. What this feeling of deprivation has come because of lack of this right understanding, not because of lack of physical resources. Mm. Yes. It's true what you're saying that you know. Yesterday, um, in this uh, faculty development program is going on, and there was a group discussion in that. And so, one of the questions that was raised was that, uh, what is wrong in um, um, having more physical facility? Because only then can you really um, help the society and help the people. Uh, but then, if we look at it, I think you know wherever we are. That ten to twenty-five percent, we can still do from whichever place we are, because today uh, more and more we tend to be accumulating, and so much wealth is there in such few hands, and yet there is so much disparity. So, true. Yes, both way, you know, there is disparity. So these people on the lower side are suffering, but even these people on the higher side are suffering. True. I mean, they are also suffering. Not that they are at very, you know, comfort uh, ease. You know, <laughs> they may be physically, you know, having lot of comfort, but mentally, you see, they are all in great tension. Mm -hmm. So, the more developed country has more number of depressed people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is, you know. It is quite natural to ha have that, you know, because if you are accumulating so much, and there are people around you who are deprived of these physical facilities, even the minimal, then you will always feel tense about it. Mm. I mean, you have to have this feeling of opposition to sustain such a situation. Number one. Number two, you are always feeling of, you know, have a feeling of fear that. There may be some problem. Mm. Yes. Sure. Sir, can we also say that this more is also for such situations when the production is not taking place, or in keeping with the cycle of the nature, like this Corona time, uh, when people are not able to produce or their source of income has got started somewhat. So there also it is going to be a help. See, this more is anyway there with you, you know. So if there is some such situation, yes, I mean you use it for that. But this assurance, you know, for any such happening, where will you, you know, accumulate? At the level of family. I mean, now it has become even at the level of individual. So you will accumulate it at the level of individual, at the level of family. At the level of society, this is an issue which we have to keep open, you know, for discussion. That if there will be emergency, and there is likely to be a, you know, have emergency, where do you keep that assurance? One of the major problems today is this: that we are trying to be secure individually. Even husband and wife are maintaining their separate account, and they don't have trust on each other. You know, and 
I mean, I know first time I came to know about this was when we were having this first workshop in, uh, you know, this called EPTU in, in 2009. And when we were discussing about this trust, one of the lady, you know, teacher from uh, Ghaziabad, she said, you are asking us to trust. How can I trust? I gave a loan of 35,000 rupees to my husband when he had to go abroad to present some paper. His husband is also a teacher. You know, is a faculty in another engineering college. <coughs> and he said that it is one year and you know she, he has not returned me even that 35,000 rupees. And I was quite taken aback. I said, how can you have maintain accounts in the family so you know secretly? But this is what we are doing, and we are already tense in our relationship with the hope that if there is some emergency, I can take care of my you know bodily needs. So this is something which has to be looked into. I mean, <clears throat> you have to have this storage, but at what level and how much? Mm. Yes, this we have to, you know, and understand. I took this example of this langar, you know. Now this farmer who has put in so much of labor and all that, okay, he's not even getting proper price and all that. But he is spending, investing the 10% to Gurudwara. Now he may think that yes, why 10% to Gurudwara? Keep it, you know, in my own house because then I will have it whenever required. So 90% is still there. This 10%, you know, are we willing to invest at the level of society? Are we able to? Store at the level of society. Now, this 10% is giving assurance to everybody. Whoever goes to Gurudwara will get food to eat and get some shelter there. So, this is a kind of you know emergency when you are not in your house, home, and you are outside, but there is somebody who is taking care of you. So let's I mean, keep this open, you know, we have to work out such details, you know, economic, about how much you are going to store at the level of individual, how much you are going to store at the level of family, how much you are going to store at the level of society. That you have to decide. But that's a good thing to work out, you know. I was saying that this, you know, in Indian village, we did this experiment of, you know, going for distribution rather than for, you know, transaction uh, or what we call as exchange. So we are distributing. Everybody is ensured. The farmer will ensure that there will be enough to eat for the potter, for the blacksmith, for the carpenter, <laughs> everybody. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, to feel prosperous, uh, I should have the physical facility and then feel prosperous or whatever I have with that, I should feel prosperous. See, what is being said is that you certainly have facility more than what is required. But if you understand, if you have the right understanding, then you will realize that you already have more than what is required. Uh, the problem what is what not physical facility. The problem is that you are uh, understanding, of understanding with whatever we have. Yes. Uh, so whatever we have, we should feel uh, with that we should feel prosperous. No, I'm not saying like, that. I'm saying with right understanding, you will be able to. Identify how much physical how much we need, required, right? Oh, okay, yes. and then you will see that it is already you know more than what is required. But if yes. it is not, you have to work to produce it. You know, to produce it. Okay. You have to work for ensuring more than what is required. Okay, but not to excess. Uh, like I should understand how much ever I need to so that much only to my, that much extent only. Not, I must try to get. No, I'm not saying not only that much. I'm saying produce more, but don't consume more. You will not consume more if you have right understanding. Yeah, yeah. And this feeling of self-regulation, 
you are not going to put on lot of weight you know fat and become over you know obesity obesity right yes sir you will eat only that that is required for the health of the body but what do you do with the rest that was the last question right the rest yes, you will share share yes. with whom share with people in the relationship people. and share yes. for ensuring the right kind of systems in the society yes right sir. kind of social order and if i am sharing this in relationship i am getting this assurance from others you know they are always there to share number 1 number 2 there are societal systems which take care of us whenever there is any such urgency yes sir right yes sir so when you are investing in relationship and in societal systems it is not that this, this is lost this is the kind of you know insurance this is the insurance that you are making right not out of getting the return back but out of yes, your sir. commitment your responsibility mm. but it does give you back it does give uh, you back yes sir yes sir uh, we have a saving that uh, saying that the universe will return whoever returns or not but universe will return yes so the basic need of this self is right understanding and right feeling right not the physical facility yes, the physical facility is required for the body yes, so once we realize this you know you see that yes the most important thing is this right understanding this right feeling yes so i i remember this you know incidents when this course was started first time in antipolity hyderabad <coughs> uh, there was lot of you know discussion among the teachers and among the students particularly the students from north you know they felt that you know why this is being you know added already we have so many courses on that and <coughs> then there was a workshop you know in hindi otherwise the workshops were in english and this workshop was in hindi for these people from north and then there was a lot of you know involved discussions and all that at the end of this these people formed a group you know and uh, did a kind of survey you know and came out with them in there there was a magazine you know clearly coming out so in that magazine they wrote this article which is a kind of survey from uh, all these students and <clears throat> at the end of the, it the conclusion is is that you cannot you can take the horse to the water you know by force but you cannot you know make the horse drink the water by force so this is one conclusion and the next conclusion is is that but if the horse has to drink water it has to be taken to the water so this is important so this aict certificate is only for this purpose <laughs> <laughs> yes interesting observation yes yes so um coming to this identification of the need that question comes up that how, how can we really identify a need because how much money is required uh, is not really we are not able to decide because tomorrow what's going to happen we don't know whether our health will be in this shape or we will need lot of money for our health and for the children's studies and so many other things come up so how can we decide from now how can we identify our need see this is a very uh, interesting thing you know the shift in your question is now from physical facility to money <laughs> so this shift we have to understand we think that they are same the physical facility and money they are the same thing which is not Mm. so what we are saying that we can identify the need of physical facility 
right with certainty because physical facility is required for nurturing protection and right utilization of the body as we have already discussed in this session mm. so need for physical facility can be identified right? you can identify how many chapatis you need to fill your stomach you know to nurture your body <coughs> mm. but when we try to convert it into money or any currency there may be a problem so this we should be very clear right so the moment you bring in a currency or any form you know of exchange <coughs> this term of exchange of physical facility with respect to money or currency is defined by us human being so physical facility is an existential reality your body is also an existential reality right and this two put together you can define the need but this currency which is not a physic you know existential reality it is a construct by human being right yes it is a construct by human being so we define this term of exchange for 1 rupee how many breads you will get or for bread how many you know for one bread how many rupee you have to pay so this terms of exchange of physical facility with respect to money or currency is defined by the human being right by the prevailing norms of the society this is important right? so whatever is the prevailing norm in the society you know on the basis of that you define right mm. on the basis of that you define right yes. so <clears throat> you can see that if terms of exchange changes that need for money you know will be changing and therefore you are not able to define it so this example we are say taking you know that if you are making a chapati or a bread in your own home it may cost 1 rupee you go to a restaurant it might cost 10 rupees or even 100 rupees right depending upon what kind of restaurant you are going mm. right mm. as far as physical facility is concerned it is the same it may even be worse quality wise <laughs> bread that you get in the restaurant and the bread that you cook yourself you know true in terms of quality it can even be worse right mm. but it might cost you 10 rupees or even 100 rupees right so this money and its you know terms of exchange with the physical facility is what is a construct of human being and there we have to be careful so i remember when i was studying in iit kanpur it was the fees was 250 rupees for the whole semester now it is almost 1 lakh mm. how many times and same thing everywhere i mean you can just study and find out you know, this rupee value at one time this dollar was and this is another interesting thing you know this this terms of exchange between the currencies so at one time one dollar was one rupee then it became some seven rupees and so on and today it is almost 80 rupees one dollar mm. so currency exchange with currency now it has become more imaginary in nature totally in the discussion of the people the norms of the society so you cannot define so that is one problem okay so in response to the first i mean part of your question this is what i have to say then in the second part of the question 
you are saying that you know there may be urgencies you know, and how do i know how much urgency so today what we have done is that we have made even knowledge and the feeling as something to be exchanged you know, in terms of money so if you are giving an advice to someone okay you think it is fine to charge so even advice is being now charged counseling is being charged with money so not only physical facility so if we get into this kind of norms in this society then we are in trouble so what you are saying is i am asking because prices keep changing and there is no guarantee that we will not have some accident or some illness so yes. the second part you know yes keep prices keep changing how do they keep changing and what is the mentality behind what is the system in the society all this we have to understand and we have to set it right this medical for example i mean you are a doctor and you know would know it better that the kind of medical facilities that were required and the kind of cost of medical facility that was there it must have gone i think 100 times now mm-hmm. in last 50 years yes yes and you don't know how much you know it will cost when you fall sick now right it might cost 1 lakh it might cost 10 lakh it might cost 1 crore right anything you have the doctors won't mind taking it you know the nursing homes and all that i know some of my friends who had problem and they went to they spend more than 1 crore and still they couldn't be cured so all this is very uncertain because of the existing norms of the society or prevailing you know laws of the societies which is made by human being mm. <coughs> so this is the second part of your question then about this accidents or some illness right mm. yes there will be emergencies right like kumar ji was mentioning that there can be a drought or there can be excess rain right so the production may not be proper now <clears throat> what do we do for it yes we have to take care of it but the question is that how do you take care of it right by way of you know in you know investing it in relationship in the societal system or doing everything individually not not even in the family so this is a question four possibilities are there mm-hmm. i work for the insurance at the individual level or at the level of family or at the level of society or at the level of you know even nature i can work to improve upon the nature so that such emergencies become much less i keep my body healthy by way of taking care of it so chances of my falling sick is much less mm. <clears throat> so these are the four possibilities and where to invest that we have to understand invest in for giving this you know assurance for this insurance today we are ensuring in a investing it in insurance company right yes which has no commitment for you it has the commitment for its own profit sir here i think one can one thing can be mentioned that when we are also sharing with the society or in relationship so there might be cases where we are able to see that there are people uh, outside in the society who are not even producing what is required for them and they start depending upon our sharing so we have to make out whether we have to invest or share for fulfilling the need for physical facility for them 
are for ensuring the right understanding and right feeling in them yeah that is true <clears throat> that is true when we are saying societal system the most important societal system is the education as far as human being is concerned so this education and sanskar is the most important thing right so we have to invest in providing right kind of education and sanskar to every child not only to grown up who have become problem we should provide the right kind of education to the child right as early as possible so that is the best investment investment to make and if we have these children given this right kind of education and sanskar and which is made available to everyone with the god of his economic and other background if we can ensure this then everybody has have this right understanding and right feeling by the time they come out of this you know process of education and with that right understanding and right feeling they certainly will have this feeling of happiness within and they will have this willingness to produce by way of labor and if they have this willingness to produce by way, way of labor and they have this right understanding and right feeling at the background then they will develop the necessary skills i mean it should not be difficult to you know uh, kind of give the necessary training for 10 skills let's say for 10 types of skills the child can learn in 15 20 years of education that we are giving and not only learn they can start producing by the age of 12 13 the development of the body takes place and they can start producing so they are first you know taking the training on job by the age of 8 9 and next 3 4 years they are ready to produce so by the age of 13 14 they can become an active part, part of this process of production okay. and they can also give the, you know training to the next generation so they can meaningfully produce for next 10 years or 7 years let's say if they start in the age of 13 and you are giving education up to the age of 20 for 7 years they can be part of the active production they can contribute to the society to their family to the educational institution and the 7 years of this experience is enough for him to continue with that you know production which you he thinks is you know, can be done in his family so true you should not give big you know kind of <clears throat> arms to people and make more and more beggars i am not saying that i am saying that if you are giving right kind of education and sanskar there will be good entrepreneurs not only who will work for their own family but work for the society so true that we have to keep in mind and a person with right understanding and right feeling would not prefer to take arms from others would certainly prefer to produce more than what is required have this feeling of prosperity and share the rest with others rather than seeking for arms from others true all these points we have to clarify you know one by one yes because whatever we are saying here is quite likely to be misunderstood <coughs> so such clarifications are very important good morning sir i want to share one experience about uh, right feeling and right understanding uh, about the uh, things to be restored to be collected Uh, as you know, this Western Rajasthan is always have not now, but certainly always have a drought. Uh, everything have depends it? upon everything depends upon the rain. So how much produce? So government has been supporting whenever there is a such type of problem, and there is a famine. People were coming, working, and getting something. <coughs> so I remember quite long back when I was a small child in the class of fifth. so there was a continuous drought for continuous two years i don't know exactly in in terms of years if i call in terms of vikram samant it was 25 26 
currently it's uh, 76 so quite long yeah. back so yeah. there is a continuously uh, drought severe drought so government has decided to give a uh, uh, case amount rather than uh, money for work case amount to the people who are uh, badly in need of this so i remember the uh, patwari and they came to our village i was there so people collected in one uh, quarterly in a sma- that that the place where people has been collecting uh, they called the quarterly i mentioned last time the place where people always uh, been there talking even the guest comes who can it is sitting there getting everything food shelter <laughs> so they collected and then my father told me he told me you are educated person you are you uh, uh, you <coughs> you give the name so our our village to the patwari who is writing this <coughs> who need this uh, help in case so i started uh, giving names say this this person this person then i told name of my father then he told we will not take it we don't need help from government uh, a note my, my father then last of the people those who uh, who can afford not to take help from uh, government they refuse we will not take it case amount or any any help from the government only the needy people should take it now uh, this is this is what the right understanding right feeling if i compare of the today's situation if there is any any scheme for help for people from government everyone is coming uh, forward say people when uh, they count that bpl people uh, people below poverty line there is a uh, competition to become bpl even they are uh, uh, approaching the mlas and asking that keep us in below property line uh, bpl so that we will get the uh, any facility from government or some help from the government so this is how the education has changed the right feeling and right understanding has changed and that is continuously uh, uh, taking a worse shape each and every day this is what i feel in my own life so this is this is what i wanted to share we were calling those people they were on illiterate if i talk in terms of the literacy i got so i am the literate person if i compare with the people of uh, one generation back they were not uh, not literate in, in terms of uh, writing and uh, uh, reading they were but they were knowledgeable people they had right understanding right feeling in terms of uh, behavior in, and conduct in the society so that's what i wanted to say thank you true true there is a documentary you know by name economics of happiness and one of this lady from britain she has prepared this document three very interesting she came to ladakh some 20 25 years back and when she got down from the bus she asked one of this young boy you know, that i want to you know go to the family who is poorest you know in the village so this boy said no there are no poor people in this village right and then she has documented this you know some 20 years after when this modernity reached there you know she visited again and she asked him a similar question to another young person who she came across and this young person said that we are the poorest person in this village so this is the shift so it is good to see that you know documentary economics of happiness so what uh, kumar ji was saying that we have to be careful that you know we don't create such things you know like there are people waiting for you know or there are people begging uh, to but if we have this you know right kind of education and sanskar i think that problem will not be there but we have to be careful yes and and in the society which is based on this clarity you know about at least the need of physical facility and that it can be fulfilled with the by way of production with the rest of nature 
would not seek for such begging you know from outside this uh, uh, question also comes up that you know uh, if we are satisfied with whatever we have then we uh, how will we develop further like uh, the medical industry would say that you know um, because uh, we have been researching and doing all the work that we are doing only then we have been able to come up with all these new tests which can um identify diseases faster and we are taking care of uh, small babies in icus and um having more and more of uh, premature babies developing uh, and doing well so how um, you know uh, if we just don't work for all this then we won't develop and similarly you know even in uh, when they have world wars and all that so many um uh, so many things so many operations so much research goes into this and uh, so if you know if we don't do all this all these inventions will not take place and there will be no motivation for development so uh, can you give your observation about this yeah what we are saying is that development is necessary right so we certainly need development but for what that is the question do we need development to, to reach to a situation of satisfaction a situation of fulfillment or we just want development and for the sake of development we should never reach satisfaction fulfillment what do you think <laughs> we would like to be developed but at the same time we want fulfillment also yeah this development is for fulfillment yes for satisfaction yes right how can there be a development which is against satisfaction the mm. development is for satisfaction so even this is not very clear to us mm. we want <laughs> development now and we think that if satisfaction comes against this development we should not have satisfaction so if you really look at the problem the problem is that we have not been able to define our need with definiteness that is the problem so we are not able to see what is basically needed for us you know the definiteness in you know defining the need is not there therefore there is no completion point it is undefined it is open ended now when it is undefined and open ended then in regard of whatever we achieve we remain dissatisfied and you know we think that you know we have to go on developing right mm. as a result this development also has no completion point it is undefined it is open ended we are moving forward but we don't know where we want to reach so we go on moving forward but we don't reach anywhere forward. because we have no clarity about the goal and therefore the development today is directionless so this is the problem i mean this medical case you you took you know now we have more icus right mm. <clears throat> but what is the goal the healthy people is the goal or more treatment <laughs> the goal more physical facility you know kind of facility available in terms of medical help what is the goal <laughs> yeah true we want we healthy, healthy people mother. do we have the healthy child born are we facilitating that or we don't care for this healthy mother we have no program for it for the healthy child but we are now developing lot of medical facilities in terms of if the mother becomes unhealthy if the child becomes unhealthy what to do 
True. Yeah. I mean, you know well about the medical practices going <laughs> on. I mean, as individual doctors and even as a in government. So the issue, basic issue, is the health. That is the goal. Mm. We have to have healthy people. Are we working for the healthy people, or we are working to manage with the disease? In fact, worse than that, you know, we are not even you know working for managing the disease. We are working for you know managing with the diseased people. So people have diabetes, fine, let them have you know, <laughs> and now they should be supported. Mm. They should remain diabetes, but they should be supported with insulin. people may have you know problem in the body right the blood has to be purified with a regular interval through dialysis now what are we doing so what we are saying is that we have to define the need with definiteness then we have to do the development necessary development for ensuring this need for all fulfillment of this need for all right then real development will take place and with that development we all will be able to reach to a situation a state of satisfaction a state of fulfillment and that is what we are saying right from the beginning you know we have to identify our need right of human being as human being we need happiness prosperity and its continuity and that this can be ensured by way of right understanding by way of right feeling and by way of right amount of physical facility right so we need development and development is in this sense so if you remember in the very first session we defined this development we said holistic development means transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness right at an individual level we will also see that at the level of society this will be this development would mean holistic development would mean transformation from inhuman society to human society so this is what we need as development number 1 transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness and at the level of society transformation from inhuman society to human society which is a big task Right. which is a big task for us to do but it is a natural thing to do so we are all in favor of development but we have to understand our goal as an individual as a society then we should decide how we are going to reach to that goal from where we are right so when we work out this process that will be the process of development and what we are saying is that the real development would mean the holistic development would mean that i am transforming myself from animal consciousness to human consciousness and at the level of society we are transforming this society from inhuman society to human society if we have this kind of development it will lead to satisfaction it will lead to fulfillment right? fulfillment of one fulfillment of all so a society in which every human being is able to live with happiness prosperity and its continuity that is the well being of all okay. for that we need you know the societal systems right which support this and one of the most fundamental societal system is this education and sanskar system where we are able to provide human education to every child and some of the descriptions we have talked about it but we'll talk about it in more detail when we talk about harmony in society mm. yes so that is the kind of development that we require today this goal is not clear therefore direction is not clear therefore we are doing so much of effort so much of, you know kind of energy is put in time and effort is put in by each one of us but we are not reaching anywhere in fact many times we are creating more problems than solutions 
more problems than solutions. In fact, if you are not giving right kind of education, right, which also includes the education on health, then people will spoil their you know lifestyle. Mm. And if the lifestyle is spoiled, you know you know how people suffer you know, in terms of their ill health. Yes. And once they are suffering from ill health, any amount of physical, you know, any amount of medical facility will not work. Uh, physical facility is what we require. Uh, so what I think uh, in the current uh, situation, uh, it all this, uh, we, we crave for more. That is why um, our society is facing various issues. So, uh, so as if you take in our family or, um, or a self, uh, I am satisfied with what I have, uh, with what I, whatever facility I have, I am satisfied. But if you come in a family, the, uh, uh, the head of the family has to satisfy the needs of all other uh, members also, like their kids or their wife. So in that case, they have to, they are going for that. And even if the family, entire family, okay, it's enough for me, I am satisfied. But when you go, you switch on your TV every festival you are being induced to buy buy this yours is old get a new fridge get a new f f tv get new yeah. new new everywhere so you are induced everywhere to get you crave for facilities mm -hmm. uh, so where is the problem uh, i am okay i have satisfied fa my family my family members are also okay but my society is telling get get more get more you you are not you are not okay you get you have to crave for it is i am being induced so yeah. where am what, what how uh, how to uh, tell no okay no i am okay i am okay i am telling but the society is not leaving me you yes. have to buy you have to buy um, yeah. so in that case what should we do this is what samila ji was asking you know that i am okay you know i have good feeling and i want to share it with others you know and I can right. identify my need and I see that I already have more than what is required. Mm. But what about this environment, you know? Yes. It is troubling me. Yes, the so environment is, is troubling. Yes, yes that sir. is true. But then that is what I, you know, responded to. I said, then I have to make this, you know, family, the workplace, mm. the society mm. conducive. Mm. And in order to make it conducive, we have to take it to the mainstream education. Right. Uh, yes, sir. So, okay, about? I am telling it to the um, my students or my community where I am living. I am try trying to satisfy people. Tell, yeah, I am just making them learn what is the real necessity for life, what is really needed. We are exploiting nature because of the human greed. We are exploiting everything around us. So let us stop. Be satisfied with that. Okay. But in that yeah. case... So, but um, the point is that I don't have to tell them that you have to be satisfied with whatever you are you have. We have to help them to identify their need. Mm, okay, I'm, I'm helping. Mm, mm, mm. That is important, you know. Mm. And you can help the other to identify their need of physical facility only when you can help them to understand that they are not just the body, but they are coexistence yes. of self and body. Mm. Because what is happening mm. is that when we confuse the need of self with the need of body, mm. And we try to fulfill the need of self through the physical facility, then we are in trouble. That point yes. has to be clarified. Yes, 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 sure. Uh, yeah, facility, external facility does not uh, satisfy. Uh, yeah, I understand, sir. Yeah. Uh, so that is what if we we are satisfied or we are yeah I understand I realize but is my society leaving is the environment leaving us oh, like that because. Yeah, so Don't if I can understand the need of self and I fulfill the need of the self, mm. if I understand the need of the body and I can see that I'm you know, ensuring more than what is required, mm. then I will be in a state of happiness and I will be in a state of prosperity within. Yes, right? yes, I, mm. And then I can help the other also to develop this state of being yes, in a I state can. of harmony and happiness in the self. Mm and identify their need of physical facility and see for themselves that they already have more than what is required. 
or if they do not have, they can produce more than what is required. I was telling that in the villages today, even in Indian village today, if you see, they are already producing more than what is required, three times, four times. That is my... So in that case, we are producing more, but there are people who are also not having what they require, right? In yes. our population, we are producing. Obviously, we are, we are doing very good in all the sectors and we are producing, but there are a sector of people who don't get what they require, basic needs also. Yeah. Why so is they are that deprived happen? of it because we do not feel related to them and we are over consuming. Uh, one group is over consuming. Yes. Um, and this is happening so because we don't feel related to these people who are deprived. If you only have this feeling of relationship for them, we'll share. Um, okay. Yes. So then there will be enough for everybody. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, that's what we are asking. That six times we are producing all over the world. Yes, so it is not a uh, what is It is a problem of distribution. It is a problem of relationship. It is a problem of right understanding, and which is ultimately the problem of right education in sanskar. Yeah, education. So they from when the young age they they come up. Yes. So, so um, I think many fields have to take the responsibility, not only education. That's what yes, I feel. Yes. Education has to government take government has to take responsibility. Take responsibility. The, the family yes. has to you no know, parents have to take the responsibility. And ultimately the whole society society has to take the responsibility. Yes. When but I when I started with mm, mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You are yes. saying so no, when I started with this uh, course, first thing when I learned was security in the society. So it is not an individual or a group. So the whole society has to feel that uh, trust. Yeah, that word trust was very nice what um, uh, yes. sir and madam was telling. So the trust in our society, I think each one of us should res take responsibility for each other. Like what you told? Sir, we have to respect each other. When that respect comes, really, I think that will help. So, yes, sir. Like what you told, it is the responsibility of many people, right? Yes. 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 Like a mother who feels mm. related to the child, has a feeling, she yes. has a feeling of affection. Mm. She will feed the child first and then eat. Otherwise. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. Rightly told. Like a motherly affection, then yes. we can, we will be responsible for everything what we are. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you.